All right, Tubesters and two bets. Man, let me give y'all a little update on the shitty shits. On the shitty shits. Boy, y'all remember this thing here was, was pretty much Fred and Barney Rubble. The Flintstones. But we've been getting a little work done. We've been getting a little work done. So I got a set of bucket seats. What I'm going to put in this sucker here, man. We was going to do the bench seat and do it just back OG. But um, since he had that floor shifter, it only made sense to be able to slide that floor shifter back some and not be so far up in that dash. Y'all see, I took that. The joystick up out of there, man. That one definitely wasn't going to work, man. I had to do... I ordered something a little bit more modern for... For the style. I couldn't... I couldn't take that. I couldn't stomach that one. But as you see, we got the floors welded in in the back. Fiberglass around the edges. Dynamated it. So we know it's good and secure and solid. I told y'all it wasn't going to be long, man. We did a few pieces up front. Uh, fixed a couple of holes up front. It wasn't much up front. Mainly just that, that back area where you can, um, you can uh, smell the exhaust <laughs> coming through. But like you say, man, we got the dash. We got the dash in, everything wrapped, man. We had to make a completely new new pad for that man and of course you know we have the center speaker here which no more will be used so we just made our new cover that goes completely over that and just leaves the defrost vents out so when we cut that we padded it up as of course with some um quarter inch landau foam took out the old all of the old ac took all of that stuff out we um got all of the gauges out Getting this, um, so we're getting the gauges, the decoders together, so we can mount them in there. Uh, waiting on the vintage air and stuff to come in. For now, we'll just be getting these seats covered. Like I said, we got the carpet in. Uh, the headliner is in. As you can see, we did a nice little one-piece headliner on this one here. Nice one-piece suede headliner. New cell panels. Now we're making all of the um, cutting all new boards for the door panels. Front and rear. It wasn't nothing savageable about it. So we completely make it everything from scratch on this one pretty much. Everything is getting made from scratch. This is one of the dash panels. We took this out and went ahead and did that the color match as well. We'll be mounting the six by nines in the back. We'll be doing two six by nines in the back, two six and a halves up front, and a pair of tweeters as well. And we'll be doing like a 604 and a 1001 for the subs. Uh, we haven't really chose the brain that we're going to try on this one here. But we got it all back clinked up. Like I say, I got to make some seat mounts for the bucket seats. I'm going to cut them down. I'm going to cut about two inches off of the front and get me a uh, wheel mill plate on where I can make my own holes. And that way I can get this thing to drop down about two inches up front like we need them to, to be comfortable at the same time. And um, so next we're building the console, getting the console together. Of course, the door panels. All new weather stripping. All new weather stripping. Belt line mode and all that stuff is is definitely needed. We found all of the trim, found all of the trim pieces, got all of the trim pieces wrapped. Everything wrapped to match, nice and neat. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Like I said, once we get the gauges mounted, cause all of that stuff has to mount from the backside. So once we get the gauges in, we'll throw them in there. Then we'll go up under here and um, do the um, 
the vintage air and get the plate for the control knobs on here. We shined up all of the billet as best as we could, you know. I mean, it is a 66, so. <laughs> I took the other pedal we had off down there. Man, it had, he had two left feet. So we took that one off and just left the brake, man. He has absolutely not one bone of brake power. Not one bone of brake power. But we go get him some brakes so he can stop. We'll get him some brakes. So like I say, but on the seats, man, we're going to do a nice, clean, simple design on here, man. To make it flow with the back. Where we don't take too much of the originality out. We're just going to upgrade it to some bucket seats. And uh, we'll just be formulating with the rest of the door panels. And um, going with it from there, man. Like I say, other than that, man, um, we're waiting on. I'm looking now for all of the weather stripping. To go on here. The uppers, all of that. Like I said, he's going to have to have all new weather stripping. Of course, I mean, there's there ain't no way around that. <laughs> we know that. Definitely got new handles. We're getting bolted in now. New handles. Uh, freshen up some of the chrome. I drill some of the holes back out and put some of his new badges back on. So we got new badges for the front. To keep it from um, being too simple. Tail lights, man. We sanded all of the tail light lenses. Got them re- Got them resprayed. We recleared those so they're nice, fresh, bright red. Of course, you know, we put Chevrolet up on you. Had to put that back on there. And we, like I said, man, we was just decided if we was going to do twos or fours on this one. <coughs> Ain't nothing been lubed up yet. So we decided that we're gonna do fours, man, and get a nice stance on this thing, man, and try to keep it, keep it a little muscle. Keep it a little muscle car. And go with it from there, man. But like you say, man, that color is gonna be popping with those rose gold wheels, man. And we could take them May Pops off in the meantime. Um, so the bumpers, we got the bumpers. Uh, we decide now what we're going to do with the bumpers. Give it a nice finished look on the front and the rear. Get this thing looking like a car. But he ready and I'm ready. Shout out to New York on this one, man. I appreciate all the love and support, man. And like I say, I'll be back in a minute. Maybe two. August 10th, Key to the City Car and Bike Show. Don't meet me there. Beat me there.